Hey everybody, I'm Jake Heavy Metal, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Oops. I had to turn my controller back on. Sorry about that odd cut while ago. Uh, had something I had to take care of. <laughs> It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I've lain here in the snow while the lurid change scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone in my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Hmm. All right, guys, listen to this. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone in my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. That voice, I'm pretty sure that voice is from uh, Max Payne. This was a late goodbye, 13 years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. The gruesome, slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers, leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. And that, too, sounds a lot like uh, Max Payne. <laughs> See if I can see page. Oh, I can. Hold on. Stucky, what lies? Barry's arrival. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Hmm. I think that's the one that I uh, messed up on and I wasn't able to actually get. Hey, it actually opens up. The continuing freezing rain and heavy snowfall has necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard, and the weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. Are you still in here? What is that, a TV? Big old bookshelf with my books.
Too bad I couldn't go out there. That looks like a hellacious storm. Look at that. You know, <clears throat> I was looking at this part he walked back when I played this about like a year ago. And that just, I don't know. That right there with the big picture of, I guess, I'm assuming New York. And then you have the table, round table, and the chairs right up in the corner like that. That is just so interesting to me. You know? And there's the kitchen with the little table and the two chairs. It's off in this nice little corner here. Looks kind of cool. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm going to finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on the way will happen over my dead body the last time was the last time oh and speaking of barry he called <gasps> alan alan please check the fuse box i'm right here i'm on it honey please hurry i'm right here baby i'm fine i'm fine just get the lights back on now please Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay, hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? <laughs> I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wick, we're done here. Pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the prettiest I ever got, if you can believe.
believe that coming from an old fisherman like me, but she's right up there. Now, she's a large mouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. No, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, are you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, that's really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. That is a big fish. I believe the one is up in her office. Um, just go down the corridor. Mm -hmm. What else you got in that bag? You're good to go, Mr. Wake. Sarah's probably waiting for a chance to talk to you. I'm sure she is, but I'm really worried and interested in what you're doing in that bag. What kind of tricks are you hiding in there? You the sheriff wanted to see you in her office. You wouldn't happen to have any old schnapps in there, would you? Nikolai, maybe? How about some uh, old smoky? Yeah, yeah. You drinking fish? We know it. Get to work, Doc. Mm, let's see what we got down here. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. What are we doing? Missing Richard Bow. Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller, on a camping trip. Overdue. Haven't been in contact. I'll be sure to take care of it and leave us. Have a nice day now. This is weird. If you have seen. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor? Yes, I'm sure she that is. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, oh, other things these days. She'd fit right in where I come from. As you can see, she's a little obsessed with maintaining the light bulbs of the whole town, refuses to step on shadows, things like that. Back in her day, she wrote about all sorts of weird things in the paper. Bright Falls has a colorful history. Of course, what small town hasn't? All right. I don't see you typing anything in there, ma'am. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. I'm sure she does, but I'm more interested in the idea that you're not tapping anything on that little bitty pad of yours. <laughs> oh yeah, time to sing and not get paid for doing your job, I see. Uh-huh. Hey, I understand. It's not a new time computer. It's okay to jerk off a little bit. What's this? Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the break book. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, watch that guy. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Pick up coffee cups. Well, where the hell is it at? Is it? Oh yeah, it's behind me. Okay. <laughs> uh, and there's a note. Looks like Alice sees a shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Calder Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Hmm.
I'm sure there's probably other notes and stuff in here. I just can't, or uh, other notes in here that I've missed. I just can't find them. Is waiting for you down the corridor in her office. Yes, I know. You've told me that several times. Can I go out here? Oh. Alice was missing. I needed help to find her. I wasn't ready to leave. I don't think there's anything else. I'm gonna go ahead and. Wait, me? no, it's down here, is it? Yeah. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the bomb. You'll do exactly what I said if you ever want to see a wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence. See, yeah, this is the part that never made sense to me. Yeah. Well, let me give them my thoughts. <laughs> I need some fresh air. Can I go out in the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment after I get some fresh air. Okay, you can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Mm. Oh, I didn't even read the thing yet. Okay, basically, uh, let's see, missing Richard uh, or do you have a dinner? If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. Thank you. Hmm. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out there. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. You can get to the back lot through that door and down the corridor, Mr. Wade. Thanks. You got anything to say there? The parking lot is through that door and down the corridor. Pay no attention to Walter Snyder on your way. Yes, I know. Get a little low. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here! Where is the light? Why is that up there? Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're alright. You're a good guy. I tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See, sure, 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 I beat him up. I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully, Debbie. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny, no, sir. It only looked like him. You want to know who it really was? I'll tell you what it was. It was 
was a goddamn space alien. I know it sounds like some thing that a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk. Oh, is that all? <laughs> oh, hey, another, uh... In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities with something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the lighting would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go kinda look around a bit. <sighs> I do not know why I'm yawning. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. This is a thermos, uh, or a coffee thermos. That's it. Man, folks, it's been another long night, and it's just not that good. Can I tell you what I need for you? Just one more item for us. What a busy night for the sheriff's department. All these broken windows, even the poor shots fired on Main Street. That these Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their dear festival. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting, the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition. No point in getting all worked up yet. Hey. Yeah, I'm sorry. Couldn't help it. That's a cool song. Couldn't help myself. Alice's driver's license had been placed in the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ah, oh, oh, thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been wearing shameless blood yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, 
Listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Wake. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its approach. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, that's fine. Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sink my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had it. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper at a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow, I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking at the mess. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an error. Jeez, Mr. Takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? What was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Can you understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. We here. Oh, I know there's a thermos somewhere around here. The skeleton of a Colombian mammoth, Mammothus columbi. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the Labre Terbitis 
1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Columbian mammoth became Washington State fossil named Buck to Charlie. It has since become the park's official mascot. Really? Huh. So, the, the thing of it is, hold on a minute. I can't. The thing of it is, Alice. Okay, so basically, Alice screams out. He runs away because he's pissed off about the, her making a deal, a big deal out of the book or whatever. So he walks and runs out of the way of the cabin, okay? Then it gets, or, well, it was already dark, but then uh, she screams, hollers, you know, hey, Alan, that bullshit. And then he runs out there and sees her in the water, I think that's how it went in the last video. So, and then he wakes up in a car crash. I think, hopefully I'm doing this chronologically. He wakes up in a car crash, and then has to wander around a forest, and then Stucky's supposed to be taken over by the taken or the black mist or whatever, and so on and so forth. So now, he's basically... Uh, Trying to find out where his wife is, which pretty much she was in the water, but I guess he doesn't really think, he's not really thinking about that, or I, I don't know. But it doesn't really make sense, really. But yet the taken, that missed stuff, gets into people, somehow. So why wouldn't it have gotten to the kidnappers? And why the hell does the kidnappers even have his wife? That's never made sense to me, but... We'll continue on the story and try to find it out. <laughs> I don't get it very well. It's a cool twist. Why am I having a wall? Well, I don't know. Huh. Oh, cool. I can go through the door. Hi, there's another thermos. Let's check over here. Grab the thermos. Going on over here. Can't go on into there. Let's check here. Nothing. 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 Easy nothing. there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? Aww. You're at Cabin's. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, ah. I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. <laughs> Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. Forms on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Poor doggy. Okay, Got it. boy. We're almost done. Got a bad little leg. Yeah, I know what happened. You got your hand stuck in the cookie jar trying to get that extra bone nibbler, didn't you? Yeah. You just wanted to feel brave and stick in your stick your stick with your toe in. Thingamajigger. Yeah, we know. Yeah. It happens. There's no need to be ashamed about it. You can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Mm-hmm. Where's... Oh, there it is. Take 
Okay, I can find the rusty. Getting hung on the door. There you go. This is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, and you're all set, boy. Glad to have you stay. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Creek? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy fall. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, if you take a walk in the woods, watch your steps. You don't end up like that. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule or looking for food or traps. Thanks. That it? Okay. And for now on, keep your hand out of the doggy, doggy biscuit. Only one doggy biscuit per pup. Poor thing. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. That's right. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month. What was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Ow, come on! I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come in on that. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. No choice. Uh -huh. Oh, we're done here? I didn't know. <laughs> uh, let's go explore this one. Crazy Ow. Ow? We should go to the sheriff? I'll call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer! This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. Pushy! I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay, then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Gotcha! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Probably. You want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Lock the door when I leave. Yeah, yep, yeah, you go ahead and do what you have to do. I'll be fine. Alone, but fine. In a cabin straight from a horror movie. <laughs> Not where you point that thing out. <laughs> oh, are you afraid of a little Stop light? Stop it, Al! Huh? Stop it! Huh? Huh? <clears throat> afraid of a little light? Huh? Probably. Eh? A migraine, Al. Oh, really? You know I'm useless with a migraine. Well, uh, you've given me pretty good migraine yourself. For all your bullshit. A horse shit one. How's that? You like that? Huh? Do it again. Do it again. Eh? Bids. Ooh, it looks scary down there. What 
That was cracking, creaking. You been drinking, Mary? You know the rules. There's gotta be a thermos somewhere around here. Ah, there it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, flashlight batteries. Cool. Thermos. Alright. A locked door for some reason that I can't get into. I think that's it. Now which way do I go? Out this way? Or... <laughs> switch lights on. Okay, switch lights back on. Can you even go that way? Wait a minute, can you go this way? Ooh, all the way down from there. Yeah, like I said, this game it's always been they had that that kidnapping thing going on. I didn't really quite understand it fully. Of course it's been a while since I played this game too, so where's the hell is that? <coughs> oh, wrong button. I'm gonna go over this way and look around. Hey, there's another one. Ooh, a hot tub. I bet that'd be fun. You can sit there where the bubbles go up your anus. Ooh. The warm, <laughs> the warm bubbles. Huh. Anything over here? That last tree trunk had something on it. But this well. Look, that's not even a well. That's a freaking piece of concrete wrapped around some tree. It's not even a well. Hmm? What? Oh, you're down there now. Wait a minute, you were just at the door. Where'd you go, you... Oh, well, you locked the door. Okay, I'm, I'm going. I'm getting the heck on. I won't get every, every single thing, but I'll try. Mary had never gotten to work in the house, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. But here was Alan armed with a gun and saying things people might bring back to see us for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Mary. <laughs> There's a car. I don't know if I want to take the car or not. I really think I could experience more without the car, honestly. Barry hmm. had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Let's just carry on. Besides, I think this... I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. True. 
But the thing of it is, is 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 all of these things in Alan's head, or are they actually reality, or is some of it in his head and some of reality? It really doesn't make that known very well. It's like it's like could it be or could it not be? You know, one of those kind of things. Like I said, this whole game's interesting, full of questions. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson is dispatching me into the studio. Hi, what you do with those sound bites? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> no plan, really. It's just the atmosphere. Why don't you go see me? We're going to be doing much more than that tonight. I'll show you. Those sack rays are us. Exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape tonight. Do the outdoors tonight. I know for a fact you have the cushion. That's right. Matter of fact, just what I had a lot of money last early this morning. So to not take a part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Have you seen that? I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take the prize and enjoy the pieces. It's no fun for me. Considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy if you win. <laughs> well, that, that's nice of you to say. Hmm. Wait till we get here. There's a closet where a couple of dead bodies can go perfectly in. <laughs> You can actually turn the lights off, too. I don't really know why anybody would do that anyway, but oh well. Keep everything all fun and dandy. That's all I got. Sound like a uh, spider monkey. Ooh, a tire swinging with nobody on it. Spooky.
you do that? I mean, where is God? Well, that one I quite kind of didn't understand. I really didn't get the gist of that one. But they're always entertaining. He did. I should go up this way. Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a letter. Rose knew that Buster was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't a prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Hmm. All the way down from there. The only invisible sound was Eddie making an awful sound, as if someone knocked on the ground here and it rolled up and was moving. Buster kept calling my mind. My eyes were drawn and twisted shape and felt good on them. They tapped, vicious. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. It was the way it happened. It happened just the way it was on that page. Hmm.
Nobody in their second, Rusty. <laughs> Be there in a minute. Got some things we're gonna take care of. Got me a coffee thermos I gotta collect. I'm doing pretty good collecting these coffee mugs and stuff. For now, anyway. The gate to Lover's Peak was locked. I'm supposed to go straight ahead into here, but I'm just trying stuff out. Hello? I'm back here. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. Yeah, just a minute. Need some cough medicine? Sounds like you got a bad cold. Officer, here's the proof you've been drinking. All the crap rusted around in here. Nothing in there. Mm. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe to get the power running and the lights back on. Hmm. At the last 
instance, I chose to wrench and throw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of the tree. I stumbled into the pool of my life. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I felt safe. Was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Nice road. Oh, hey, we're in there now.
Oh, okay, you gotta go through there, I see. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. I'm guessing effects mean like the, uh, shooting the gun. I'm gonna pull it down to speech volume. Speech volume is good. Sound on the floor. Yeah, I need that too. Effects. Yeah, we'll try that. See if that works. Seems like when I shoot the gun. It's a lot louder than the rest of it, and it's hard to keep up with the volume of the TV when it happens that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and level that for the other one. See if that works. This game is just so so damn advanced that it's hard to keep track of all the little odds and ends. I'm supposed to be. I don't know. I don't think. I think I gotta go the other way. Or maybe this is the right way, but like down there is the right way. But I'll go up this way. Just, just to try it out. Cause it's probably something over here. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a can thing I need to shoot? paper. In my last case of consciousness, just a thought of Florence. He was a little genius. Rosa was dying in all his eyes, but she hated being alive. The thought of controlling her was the most horrible thing. He stayed away from her. He grew really fond of her after a while. Now she was dead. Is that like, like a drop off or something? Yeah, because we went up there, didn't we? Or something? Oh, okay. Okay, so we gotta go down this way. Alright. Hmm. 
the speakers at the far end of the nature trail. I think there's something in here. I think. If there isn't, there should be. This definitely looks like a cave. Oh yeah, there is something down here. It may even be a scrap paper, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a rifle. And there's also a crate here. Achievement unlock finder's keeper. Lithium batteries. Moonshine Cave. This cave was the site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the prohibit prohibition 1919 to 1933. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada, but at times alcohol was also distilled on the premises. I have no way of knowing whether that stuff is correct or not. I have no way of knowing any of that stuff. But it sounds pretty cool. Is there anything else? Yeah, that was yeah. I think that was just uh just a small area where you can get collect things. It does seem though, when I'm playing this game and you see those flashbacks and stuff, it seems almost like, like for some reason he actually is writing this story. You know, like it is, like what Barry said, it was a bestseller or something. Somebody behind me. Okay, I see. It does do it. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Effects volume. Go all the way up. Okay, now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright. That's not too awful bad. I just don't like that loud boom, boom, boom. Wake up the neighbors. <laughs> I like they're already awake, but. I know there's got to be some kind of a, or did I already go up through this way? No, I think there's something down here. Come on, there has to be. Oh, shit. Didn't want to go down that way. Down there. Thank you. There's something down there. I don't know. Hmm, right. 
right and left. Right and left. I never know how to do these. I guess I just. No, I'll go to the right. Let's see what this entails. Maybe there's no. Be down this way. Down here. Yeah, they're always trying to chase me. Okay. Shotgun ammo and a shotgun. The cool thing about this shotgun, and I'll show you here in a minute. <clears throat> When you're actually shooting it, it the, the one thing about this shotgun is just like you know any movie or any game to use. Most of the times when you shoot it, it will it has a large force to it that pushes your enemies back, which actually is good for this because in like nightmare mode when they're coming right at you and they're almost on top of you, you can actually shoot them. And while your beam's still taking away their uh, uh, that shield, it can actually give you a little bit more time 
uh, to hold off. So that's pretty cool. Even if it doesn't kill them, just hitting them with it while they're still got their shield on can actually push them away from you. Pretty cool. Yeah, doesn't look like I'm going to get gotten anytime soon, yeah. I'm on to that storm. I turned the corner, a friend of mine flashed on his phone light. Suddenly, a wealthy TV signal on the coast told me where it was. Behind me, four mile rocks sat badly beaten truck. It was hit by a missile. It almost kind of seems like he's like talking to himself. I mean, in the oh, weird. Wait a minute, can I jump over there? Is there even? Oh yeah, yeah, there is. Another coffee thermos. Well, you lifted down now. I may see just how far this video goes. I don't know how long. We're already past an hour, an hour and 23 minutes. So I may just see where this video goes, you know, how long it'll go for. I really don't know. I've been just doing that lately, just seeing how long a video will go. Ooh, I think this is where I meet the big guy. I think this would be a great time to show you, uh, ooh, there he is, to show you what I'm talking about with the shotgun. Yeah, there he is. Okay, now I'm going to go backwards. I don't know if I can do this on, uh... yeah, see, it shoots him backwards. itself actually blows them backwards so even if like I mean I know I just killed him with the freaking thing but even though with uh, <clears throat> even though with their shield off I mean you can kill them but even with it on if you just hit them with it it'll blow them back enough where you know if their shield is just getting ready if it's not quite there yet but within like a few seconds you can blow one back if you got enough you know Ammo. I think there's only like two shells for each hit. So I mean you could hit one, knock him back, you get a second, hit him again, you get another second, and the shield will actually deplenish and go away and then you can kill him for real, you know. So I, I find it pretty useful with that. Wait a minute, what was that? Right. But yeah, I find it pretty useful for that. I mean it's better than just sitting there and you know, not be able to do anything at all. So, pretty useful. This over here. Say it's something. I don't think so. It's a bunch of grass. Let me 
since you're sitting over here. So you were sitting this way. Might be. Or just uh, empty. Yeah, pretty much just empty area. <laughs> I think it would be like you're supposed to jump up there, maybe, I don't know. Well, like I said, guys, this video could probably end at any moment, so. Before it does, hopefully, um, you know, if you like this video, like it, and subscribe to more content, or my, con or my, more of my videos, and hit the notification bell too, that way you'll be notified every time I upload another video. Yeah, I think it was supposed to go that way. But let me go down here and just check and see. Hey, thermos. Is there anything? No. Nothing there. That's pretty cool. Piece of log hanging from a tree. Hey, yeah, cool. The tree, the tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846, the year the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the ring: 1853, the Washington Territory was formed. 1878, the foundation of the Bright Falls. Mining Co. and the town itself. 18. Did I say 1978? 1878. The foundation of the Bright Falls Mining Co. and the town itself. 1889. Washington was granted statehood. Uh, 1929. Tree damaged in a forest fire. 1970. The Bright Falls Mining Co. closes its doors after a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake. 1980, Mount St. Helens erupt. 1987, tree, tree fell by storm? Huh. Like I said, I don't know if any of that's true, really, but they say you can tell, they say that you can tell the year that a tree's been standing by its lines, like the line that goes from, well you go either way, but the line that goes from the inner to the outer, or the outer to the inner, <laughs> I guess it really doesn't matter, it's just the age of the tree within the lines, and why in the hell is that there shaking, and that one not quite so much, that's weird, what is that like a glitch in the game? Weird. Look at that. That thing used to shake it. Crazy. Huh. Anyway, back to the story. Wait, was there any. I don't. I need to check. No, don't think so. Okay. I can jump over there. That's cool. And there's a letter. I think this is where you go across the, uh, yeah, where you go across that bridge thing. 
I hope I got enough uh, time on the tablet to do this. This would be so rad. Okay, you can jump in there. Let's see. I think this is where you get attacked by birds. Yeah. 